you will certainly do extraordinary things. And we will have the joy of watching you change the world. The first time I came here was in 2013. My friend was visiting from Africa. And I remember my friend telling me, you deserve to be here. And I shrugged it off. I was like, that's not me. I cannot go to Berkeley. And then years later, when I stepped on the doors, I had almost an epiphany, because now the whole statements came back that I'm here. And over time, I've accepted that it is right for me to be here, that I had worked hard enough to be here. And that's a feeling that I take every day since that first day. After I graduated college, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I did what people who don't know what they want to do with their life do, which is move to New York. It was right around the time when Occupy Wall Street started. And I felt like the issues that it was introducing were hugely important to our society, questions of inequality, questions of corporate accountability. And about nine months into doing that work, I kind of had this aha moment. I had a revelation, which was that there are certain things protest can do and certain things it can't do. My background is in environmental policy making and there was a number of Ivy League programs which looked excellent, but California really had a leadership role in climate change in America and the Berkeley Masters in Public Policy was really ahead of the game as far as providing faculty members at Berkeley that I would have access to in being able to actually forward my career. I've been teaching for the last oh, I would say 40 years. And I've never encountered a generation of students who is as committed, as dedicated to social change, positive change in our system, our community, our nation, our world, as the students I'm teaching right now. We have cabinet secretaries, we have the head of the Associated Press, we have high-level government officials, we have ambassadors, uh, we have college presidents who are graduates of the school. So it's clear that the sky's the limit. And what's neat about the Goldman School is it teaches people how to use social science knowledge and how to define the problem and how to uh, analyze problems, break them into their pieces, and actually come up with a solution. And it turns out that a lot of training doesn't do that very well. I think we do it exceptionally well. What amazes me the most is that every day students come in and they tell me that they are doing so much. Not only are they taking rigorous courses, but they are involved with so many different opportunities. And a lot of the major public policy ideas and innovations that happen start here in California. And so for me, the stories and opportunities that students tell me every day is because we are in a great place that lends itself for them to go out and take advantage of the time that they have here and do amazing work. We're not law students, we're not business school students. We are here to be policy students because every one of us cares about, in some way, leaving the world a better place. I think what makes Goldman special is it feels like a family. It's small, but it's large enough that you can come here with any policy area interest and find folks that are experts in your field and folks that are making a difference uh, throughout the world. When I think about what does it mean to be part of this community, I'm thinking not only about all the wonderful classmates that I have in my cohort, but also the fantastic people in the class above me, the people who I will meet in the air below me who are bringing their energy and curiosity. And then every place I turn in California, there's some GSPP grad doing some cool work that I want to know more about. Uh, and so I feel like I've entered something really huge and important to the future of the state. By coming here, young people can understand how they can make a difference. They can get the tools uh, of economic analysis and political analysis and understanding really where the pressure points are in the system for making the kind of changes that they believe in. We're not selling a particular vision of society. We are not selling a particular ideology. What we are providing students is the power to make change. It was the end of September and we were taking our first test in our econ class. And I had been scribbling and, you know, sweating. And about 30 minutes in, I kind of took a moment to look up and take a breath. And it really dawned on me how much I had already learned. And I kid you not, I almost cried. What moved me so much was the idea that I had come to school to develop a toolbox 
That would allow me to be a more effective change maker. And within a month, I already knew that I was on my way. Toddy Mollison said that the function of freedom is to set someone else free. And because I consider it an honor and privilege to be here, to be part of this community, I want my work and my research to represent that to communities that won't have that privilege to attend Berkeley like I did. And so I want to dedicate my life's work to those communities, whether those communities are in San Francisco or in Nairobi, Kenya.